on the hunt for some snacks because I get the feeling we're gonna have to eat pretty quick today and it's early. So I need to warm up the old throat hole. Freddo's, perfect. Might as well get a coffee while we're at it. Hiya. Hi, I've got two Freddo's as well oh, in my back pocket. I don't normally eat chocolate for breakfast, I promise. You just eat everything else. That's excellent. Ah, oh, bird pooed on my windscreen. Ugh. These things used to be about 12p when I was a kid. No longer the proletariat chocolate bar of choice. Still a good one though. Today it's another full English breakfast challenge, I confess. But it should be interesting because I was looking at the Facebook comments on this one and it seems to be the common consensus of the Vox Populi that the time limit on this one makes it impossible. <laughs> one way to find out. To Scunny, Sonny. I have a bad history with Scunthorpe. Welcome to Scunthorpe, duck. I think this place is inside a uh, like a shopping centre or a mall if you're American. British multi-storey car parks are some of the grimmest structures on planet Earth. It always reminds me of that she'll tag it when I drive into one of these. This is what we're looking for. Andrea's coffee shop. Hey, here we go. Hi. Hi. Yes, yeah, I messaged on, uh, on, on Facebook. I'll get over you. Play some top tunes here. Is it, is it like 80s day? Yeah, it's good. This is good music to eat to. Bit of Go West. Is it Go West? I think it is. You take it seriously here with a, a waiver and everything. Dunkin' is not allowed? That's very specific. I like that part. No reversal rule? You're using all the proper terminology here. I like it. I did my own work a little bit. One of those tracking shots from Hollywood. I'm following the thing in. Oh, 15 minutes. I don't know. 15 minutes. We got napkins at the ready. We're all we're all good. Andrea's cafe and coffee shop. Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> no. 15 minutes. Which a lot of people on Facebook say is uh, is impossible. And if you finish it in 15 minutes, you get the the meal free. Is there a wall of fame or anything? Or? Oh, there is a wall of fame. It's just that there's nobody on it. I see it now. Yeah, nobody, on it. nobody on it yet. Maybe I could be the first face on there. We'll see. Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Let's get it. Sausages first. Is there any other way to do it? What's up, Bidabi? Welcome back to another episode of Man Consumes Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my first rodeo, that's for sure. But whenever I get tagged in a Facebook post, I see lots of people saying that something is impossible or the time limit is too scant. I feel almost obligated, irreversibly compelled, you might say, to uh, to have a crack. So that's what we're doing today. I'm sorry. I'd say that I don't normally eat eggs like this, but a lot of the time I do. When you see a lot of people on Facebook were asking you to swap these out, swap eggs for something else. It's not a full English without eggs, surely. Yeah, come on now. If you're trying to swap eggs, you've got no business trying a full English breakfast challenge. The eggs are what make it breakfast, right? Otherwise, it's just bread, potatoes and beans. Oh, man, you can see right into my gob from this angle. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, today we're at Andrea's Cafe and Coffee Shop and the owner went to great lengths to explain that uh, a cafe and a coffee shop are not in fact the same thing, which was news to me. <laughs> but we're trying their 15 minute full English challenge, the rules of which dictate that you get a quarter of an hour to finish pretty much six of everything that you'd normally find on a fry up. And if you can, you get the 15 quid meal free and uh, a spot on their wall of fame, which is it's currently unoccupied but um, it's only been around a short while, maybe like eight weeks or something. I think judging by the comments, most people are terrified to even try it. Oh, there is fried bread. I thought it was all toast. I'm very relieved to find there is fried bread. Bacon sandwiches. Yeah, we're gonna save the fried bread to enjoy towards the end. 
It is a delicacy which should never be rushed, if you ask me. How long have I been going? Nearly four minutes. Yeah, you got it. What, a third of the... I don't know what I was looking at there, by the way. Probably a bemused bystander. That's what my money would be on. But yeah, we're about, what, a third of the way in. And uh, we're, we're doing all right. Still the bacon and the bread to go. Those are some of the slower components. Not to mention the sloppy stuff. See that? That was a textbook beard wipe. I know you'll appreciate that as a long term, as a long time fan. How long have I been going now? Six minutes. This is really yummy. It's really nice. Yeah. I must have want to eat it, you know, quickly. There's a lot of beans. Yeah, precisely three portions apparently. Although who knows what constitutes a portion. A bit like when uh, American cooking shows say a cup. Like, what, what's a cup? What is a cup? One of my favorite things on planet Earth is ba baked beans with fried bread. <laughs> Can't beat that. No? Yeah. I don't really know why I bothered wiping, but... Yeah. Right. So what, it was about eight minutes, you say? Seven. I normally fast forward this part where I'm just eating the slop off the off the tray, but you're gonna have to witness it first time this time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I do ordinarily have the decency to uh, to time lapse parts like this, but if you're watching in the flesh, you've got to see it in all its uncensored horror. Although to be fair, today I was pretty darn clean by by my standards. We're almost there. Just mopping up some, uh, you know, tin tomatoes. Not my favourite. But uh, I'm enjoying the beans. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you at the next one. No, no, not quite. I would have like a clean face when I finish off, you know. Right, is that clean enough, boss? I think that'll do. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna tilt the thing up a little bit. If I've got an actual real life subscriber in the audience, I've got to say, do you have a dessert menu? That's it. <laughs> jam and coconut sponge. Oh, I'd love a bit of jam and coconut sponge. On its own or with custard? Gonna have a bit of custard with that, yeah. It takes me back to my school days, which is like, I don't know, 25 years ago now. <laughs> Ooh, a little bit of coconut sponge with custard. You me. I was going to let it cool down, so the custard had a bit of a skin. For authenticity's sake, but uh, decided to eat it warm. Thought I'd better not. Mmm. Did you call me what? I <laughs> don't know if I can put this on the channel. See if it focuses. <laughs> That came out your daughter's mouth? Oh my Daughter, goodness. Daughter-in-law. <laughs> She's not wrong to be fair. <laughs>